In this tutorial, we're going to be using basic modeling techniques to construct this ultra wide gaming monitor. We're going to play with image textures and learn how to project an image onto a screen and give it lights and hopefully end up with something like this. Right, so as always, we're going to grab everything and delete it. And then we're going to add in a plane and we will rotate that on Y axis. Hold control to kind of snap it to 90 degrees. Move that up away from the world origin and then scale it on the Y axis as well. I've got an ultra wide, so we're going to be making an ultra wide here. Absolutely love the thing. Uh, amazing investment. Anyway, <laughs> um, we're going to go edit mode and add a loop cut in the middle. And this is going to govern how much curve we've got. So we'll grab that and we'll move it on this axis and then control B to bevel and mouse wheel up. And there we go, we've got our curved screen. So make sure we click off this and then hit A to select everything again. And we're gonna extrude that to get basic shape of our screen. Uh, and if we go face mode, we can select all these faces. We will press I to inset. And extrude that inwards to get our screen and there we go and from here i'm actually gonna take this screen off so we're gonna right click and dissolve faces so we've just got one screen which is easier to work with um and then we'll hit p separate selection so now we've got two so now i'm gonna rename this to the screen and then this is going to be monitor. There we go. Cool. So we got this started then. Uh, we'll grab all of these faces on the back. And again, we're going to inset that. And we're going to grab that and move it on the X axis to give our screen a bit of a back on it. Just like that. That's fabulous. And we we'll grab these, right click and subdivide those. Just like this, grab the whole face and we'll move that out. Just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll extrude these inwards. And if we grab this top, these tr top edges here, Grab those and we'll move those in a little bit. Give us that little inset. We're just checking nothing's coming through the screen. That looks pretty good to me. And then on here, grab these faces. What I'd like to do is add some little slots for cables and stuff. So if we press I and then I again, we'll select all these faces separately. So we can do that and then we can scale it on the X axis to make them look more like the sort of slots you'd get on the back of a monitor. And then we'll extrude those inwards as well. And there we go, that's our slots. Um, now here, we'd like to add an arm to be like holding it basically. So we select these faces here and then shift S cursor to select it. So that'll snap it exactly there. And then we can add in a cube and scale that down. And scale it on the X axis as well. Give this kind of spot where it connects to the monitor. Uh, we'll, we'll actually scale it a little bit further. We'll scale that just on the X axis a little bit further. There we go, that looks good. Um, and then from here, we're going to inset that, scale that on the Z axis, so we can get a bit of an arm. Uh, and then we'll grab that and move that out a little bit. And then we're going to extrude this out, maybe grab it and move it down. And uh, we'll extrude it out again. And then we'll grab this bottom face and we will extrude that. 
down to about where we want our monitor to sit. So probably about, probably about there is good. Uh, and then we'll grab this edge and we're going to bevel that. Make that look a bit cleaner. Uh, and there we go. I'm quite happy with that. Well, so now we need to wake up, work on our base. Uh, so from here, we're going to add a loop cut to this. And I'm going to grab this face and just extrude that outwards. And then we'll grab this top edge and we'll move that down. Uh, and then maybe we'll grab these as well and we'll scale that inwards just like that. It's potentially a bit far away as well, so we'll, ju we'll just move that back in a little bit. Make that look a little bit more natural. And then we'll probably bevel this as well, just a little bit, just to get that looking right. Nice and clean. And then we need to make the stand for it. So we'll grab these, scale those inwards. Get that kind of nice diagonal that we're looking for. Brilliant. So now what we need to do is extrude these out. And I can do that on one, absolutely fine. But if I try to do it on both, not the same behavior at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this face. Uh, so we'll delete faces and then we'll grab this one. I'm going to press P and separate selection. Go in object mode, grab a new object. I'll call this base. Uh, and then I'm going to add a mirror modifier to that. And we're going to remove this and we're going to add in the Y. So now it's mirrored on both sides. So now if I extrude that, I go in edit mode, grab that face, and extrude it. You can see it's mirroring it on both sides for me, which is amazing. So we'll put that to about there. And uh, we'll grab it with a little shift Z to reposition it. Lovely. Perfect. And then we'll grab these edges. And again, I want to just grab these top edges, scale those down a little bit. That looks much better to me. Um, and now I'd like to add a bevel modifier to this as well, just to give it a little bit more realness because like nothing's really fully flat edged in the real world. So we'll give that an extra segment there. Well, so now we'll grab the rest of our monitor and we're going to shade that auto smooth. That nice bit of curvature. So there we go, that's the, the basic modeling done. Um, so now we can go ahead and give it some textures. Now I like to use Blender Kit. You can obviously, you can get textures from wherever, uh, but Blender Kit does give you tons and tons of free textures. Um, so I like to use that. So we're going to search for a basic black plastic material in here. There we go. It comes up with absolutely loads. Um, we are going to go with the scratched black plastic. And you can just drag that in there. Although that scratch is possibly a little bit too scratched for me. Um, so you can just, you know, play with textures that you like and we'll go black plastic with scratches. How's that? So I don't, like my monitor is beaten up. So there we go. Brilliant. That looks pretty decent. There's a monitor. Um, we'll grab these, this base as well. We can apply that there. So let's have a little look in render mode to see how everything is shaping up. We'll change this down to 100, move that, add a denoiser. Uh, and while we're here, we'll just do the same thing for our render. Next gate, 
if we jump into our render tab, it's all going to be dark, but we've got a basic screen with our basic material on it. So the next step then is going to be sorting this screen out. So if we grab this screen, then I'm actually going to add an image texture onto this one. So I'll make a new texture here. I'm going to open the shading tab. And from here, you can actually remove this principal BDSF. And we're just going to add in an emission shader. We'll add the emission to the surface. And then we're also going to add in an image texture. I handily took a, a screenshot of this project just before I started. There yeah, it's my desktop. And we're going to add this color to color here, but you can see the texture is awful to start off. So if you go into edit mode and we're going to pull up UV editing. So we want to grab this face basically, and you can scroll way out here. Um, but with this face, you can press U and project from view and you'll get this little select box. We do actually just need to make sure that we're in a, a front view. So we press U, project from view. And then on this tab, you want to scale this up basically to basically to fit this image. Do you find it easier to use these sometimes? We'll go just like that. Perfect. And then if we jump back into our layout, have a look at our image. There we go. We've got our image projected onto our screen beautifully. Lovely. Now back in our shading tab, you can see that basically we've given this an emission value. Um, and you can see that's popped up here as well on the material. So we've got an emission. What that means is we can make our screen brighter or darker. Um, basically, it's going to make it emit light, essentially. Um, so we'll leave that, we'll say like a 2.5. Leave that for now. Um, and we'll kind of play with that as we get into our render. But yeah. From this point on, you really just want to build out your scene for your render. So go ahead and add a camera and play with your camera settings and then add some basic kind of props. Uh, so I've just added a, a little desk in here just by adding a plane and, and scaling that out and extruding it and positioning it under the monitor. Um, but take your time, kind of add some lights, add a room around it, you know, the, the usual kind of stuff you do when you're, you're playing with them. Um, making a render and that that is really it um that is your monitor done so everything you've seen in this video basically apart from the the screenshot i took myself um i pulled from blender kit uh, there's a link in the description if you want to have a look at that add-on it's it's really fantastic it helps me a lot in all my projects um, so please do check that out and let me know what you thought of this one let me know what you'd like to see me do next and hopefully you'll, you'll come along for the next one uh, so thanks for stopping by. I hope you got something out of this tutorial and I will see you guys next time.